So now it is time to go back to the beginning. The true name was Boat. Is that all I'm supposed to fill out? Is it just blank and then Boat? Probably. Go Iba. Go Iba. We're back to Iba now. <sighs> I've been practicing. How's my dancing? Yeah, looking good. Wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp. Oh, no. Not you two. I'm too cute to be a shrimp. Hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, oh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. Oh, Mizuki, do you know your way around Somnia? If you are assigned to- Would you- <laughs> No. Nah, it's fine. I've synced plenty of times already. Well, if you do run into any issues, you can always check the manual. The manual explains syncs and Somnia comprehensively. Got it. Thanks. All right, then. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. What am I supposed to do in a place this bare? Okay, we're skipping. We, we've seen this many hours ago. Love you, Mizuki, but... We're going. Okay. So my guy's going through it. A so we sat in the chair. Oh, wait. Is there anything for me to grab? No, we're just gonna sit It's a folding. Okay. Kill to his emotion wakes him... I'm awake. Just because it was fun. Okay, tell me about the HP case. We're skipping until we get there. So the eyes, Iba. He comes back to fight. Mr. Date's house. I didn't see it the first time, but... So, I know... Oh, okay, Dahlia. I don't like this. Intrusion like ported. Is it? Is it really? I don't like it. I'm not a fan. We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. So is everything okay? It should be. But it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. But for some reason, okay, we can skip this. So this is now the other route because I do remember. So now we're in the this one. You remember the name. This place is... It's the cathedral. Oh, so this is what you were talking about. And she doesn't remember. Hey, is that rubble? It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. 
Huh? Wait, there are more mental locks? I will scan again. Somnium scan, activate! What's happening? There could be more mental locks? Unknown. Everything about this is extraordinary. Oh, Ryuki. Dahlia. Boat. Dahlia. Boat. Let's go. Okay, yeah, this one's different. Okay, not entirely, What's but... this? Oh, we're surrounded. The rubble turned into a hand. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Darn. We cannot get through. Is this Ryuki? Dahlia. Boat. Mizuki, that red aura is bad news. The time compression element waves are off the charts. If you get caught by it, you'll lose time. Run! Where do you want me to run to? Run? Where? I'm trapped! Calm down, Mizuki. That Ryuki has neither a shadow nor a face. It must be a shadow image created by the regrets Ryuki carries. When you see something so unstable, you only need to show it reality. A strong reality. Show it reality? This is Ryuki's AI ball. Tama? There is no response, but most likely. Put it in Ryuki's left eye socket. Play baseball with his face, huh? I will aim for the left eye socket. I did it! Bonked. Wow, bullseye. Are you okay, Iva? Oh. Eyes hurt. <sighs> this whole thing is a mess. Ryuki's broken mind was. Ryuki's AI ball. Hey, it's me, Tama. Ryuki, make sure you get plenty to eat and get lots of energy. This is your best impression? Tama. Oh, it got a reaction! I knew it. My impression was so good, it pulled his heartstrings. N no, that's not it. Don't you think the real Tama would have gotten a bigger reaction? Here he was first time, huh? What? Oh, did he touch me? Huh? Was that another reverse sink? Where am I? Is this Mizuki when she was a kid? Not the Intrusion ported. Ryuki's consciousness broke through again. Earlier you said it was fine. Apologies. It is much stronger than I was expecting. Ugh. We need to be careful. So I think Mizuki, he you have five him. minutes Ryuki's left. Ryuki's AI ball. Okay, I guess I have to call for Tama. What if I don't want to use it? <laughs> Tama, that's you, isn't it? Help Ryuki. I didn't realize it was going to be like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's really Tama! Ryuki, get a hold of yourself. Are you gonna hold on to these regrets forever? Do what you need to do. What I need to do... What I need to do is... Okay, I've made mistakes. Oops. Yuki got along with Tama. Tama was Ryuki's anchor. She kept him tethered to the real world. Right. Hmm. 
that rubble there? Is that lower than before? Yes. Do we have another time limit? You have four minutes remaining. Hey, what's up, my guy? Hey, Ryuki. I... Justice. Oh. This is Boss's room. Oh, Date! And Boss! I'm so, so sorry. Ryuki, how many times do I have to say this? I can't assign you anything if you're going to carry on with this ridiculous sense of justice you have. I understand. Listen, I'm glad you caught the burglar. But when they started crying, you bought them lunch and took them on a drive. How silly, right? That's my line. Uh, I'm sorry. You're being suspended for two weeks. You can't leave your house. Take time to reflect. Ryuki, everyone makes mistakes. Even me. I always make mistakes. And every day I get an earful from an artificial intelligence eyeball and a grade schooler. But it's okay to make some mistakes, as long as it's in pursuit of justice. So, don't falter now, Ryuki. I won't. I've never seen Date being such a good superior. Mr. Date, I made a mistake. What is justice to me? Mr. Date. This isn't an illusion, right? I remember this conversation. We should cheer him up. I don't with Date. We also got along with Tama. Remind him of real justice. Pumpkin. Black eye. What's this? Cheer up. Dippy try. How about some coffee? Nothing better than drinking boss's coffee without permission. He's not hip. One mistake teaches you more than a hundred successes. This is true. Who do you hear that from? Homeless guy I drank with the other day. Smart, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. strange advice yeah we're surrounded again Dahlia boat you it's the creepy Ryuki Aiba be careful yes if we show it the truth again this space might disappear too Three minutes left. You can do this. It's an Evolver. We might be able to use this. I think you can sh shoot Ryuki. Because last time I shot myself, but I don't know if this is the same answer. I'm going to try shooting Ryuki. Are you sure? This might have ill effects on Ryuki's mind. Aiba, at times like this, pretend what you're shooting is made of jelly. That's what my master taught me. <laughs> my apologies, Ryuki. I have no choice. Mr. Date, please forgive me. Entirely, but okay. Dahlia. Boat. Another Ryuki! When it rains, it pours. We need to deal with them, too. Hurry. 
Okay, I did make the right choice. Oki's broken mind was overcome by shock and erase. Um. Shoe? Loafers like students wear. Yeah. I don't. You need to. No, I don't think they're important. Ah! He's trying to touch me. That's a lead pipe. Uh, what bomb. is this? Bomb? A time bomb. Iva, run! Do not worry. It is not active. Yet. And we might be able to use it for something. Like what? Take apart, throw, activate. Activate. And just like that, it's armed. Mizuki, what do we do? W what? Eat, throw on ground, throw! Fly, Ryuki! Fly! Bonk. Kizuna. Mizuki. It flew away. Hopefully that will not negatively impact Ryuki. We had to. If we didn't get rid of it, we would have been blown up. Well, it may have been a tad excessive. Deserved. What's going on? Uh. Left and right are reversed. This is a cool effect, but for people that actually rely on this for subtitles, it's not a cool effect. Is this from Ryuki's dream? Ryuki's dream is getting creepier and creepier. Ryuki can't. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Be careful. Oh no, it's reversed, reversed, bro. No. Fix this. Fix this, we okay. No, oh no. Ryuki. Fix this. Is Thank this you. Brahmin? Genny's place. Oh, Date and Ryuki. And Genny too. None of you get it. You don't appreciate how good at my job I am. Okay, I think you've had enough to drink. If you want to drink, we should go to Marble. This place has good food, not drinks. <laughs> it's okay. I'm such an arrogant piece of shit. Looks like we need him to cheer up a little. This guy requires so much maintenance. How does Tama put up with him, bro? There's still hope that we need that. So cheer up, cheer up. He likes, I thought he likes the brandy. Drink up, Ryuki. <sighs> no reaction. Shit. Running out of time. Hey, don't drink without my permission. Yee! <sighs> Alcohol is the best. You get drunk so fast. Ah! Don't yell at me. It looked so good. <laughs> That's a creepy way to cry. Pull yourself together, Aiba. Sorry, I couldn't stop myself. Alcohol has no effect. Memories of drinking together. Hurry! You have less than a minute left! Bro, my guy, I don't know how to tell you this. But it ain't happening. When the hell did they ever touch fruit? Um. Ah! You need to chill for a second, okay? Bro, are you joking? <sighs> Ignore. She can drink the water too. <sighs> Iba, you can be really short tempered sometimes. My temper gets shorter the more I'm ignored. But it doesn't look like Ryuki wants water right now. <sighs> yeah, okay, um. Awfully strange advice. Yeah. We're surrounded again. 
Yes. Three minutes left. You can do this. Okay, let's do it right this time. It's an evil. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Be careful. Okay. Eat this and cheer up. Ryuki, look. What's this? The special. Snake-inspired intestine soup, squeezed nuts, wide-legged old man's whisper sunfish, volcano-style, old spirit impact. Now eat. This is gonna improve your mood whether you like it or not. Look, I get it. Higher-ups usually don't appreciate their subordinates' value. But I don't care about that. It's not that you're not skilled enough, or you don't have an eye for things. It's all about timing. There's a time for everything. Just continue what you're doing, until the time comes. Don't let it get to you, Ryuki. Stay strong and keep going. No, not here! Go to the restroom! Uh-oh. I only have so much time, my guy. Where he run off to? Stay strong. Keep going. Iva, watch out! Dodge, Iva, dodge. Iva did not dodge, but it's okay. Again with them. The real Ryuki is right there. I have to run and dodge, my guys. Let's get through them. Indeed. Bro, are you joking? Hurry. You have less than a minute left. I have less than a minute and I can't even tell where I'm going. Oh my god. Ah. How? I can't do this. I can't see. Bro, this is dumb. <sighs> Only 30 seconds left. Yeah, because I can't fucking see, mate. <laughs> Tama. Where am I? Ugh. My head. Intrusion thwarted. Bro, it's over. It's over. I can't. Uh, again. Iba, be careful. We'll get through. No, we won't, because I can't see. Okay. We need to go here. And here. And he's on the stairs. This isn't really fair. Go up. Up the stair. Iba. I can't tell where you are, Iba. Go up the stairs, Iba. Mizuki, you're out of time. Not if you can't prove it. <clears throat> can't prove Ryuki, it. Ryuki, get a hold of yourself. Zalia. Boat? Smack him. Is that them?
this is all your fault. No! Stop it! You have no future. Shut up! Dahlia Boat! You son of a bitch! You killed Mr. Dante! Dahlia Boat? DB. That's what the YouTube video was uploaded. I beat it with like six seconds delay. <laughs> Alone. Yeah, Mizuki's about to find out Dante's dead. He's not coming back. Reverse sync? You tried to get into my head in the sink earlier, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. Actually, Mizuki, it is possible that he does not remember. The recipient of a sink does not literally experience what happens in their somnium, so he would not remember that. Then who was trying to reverse sync? Perhaps Ryuki's subconscious. And Thomas. Or the collective unconscious. Hey. Ryuki, do you know the culprit? If I did, I would have caught them already. The man in the iron mask, Insomnium. I know that he is the culprit in the HB case, Terror. But Dahlia Boat, is that another pseudonym? I heard the boat part six years ago at the cathedral. Correct. But Dahlia, how did you know that part of the name? Well, that's because... I forgot. I remember where I heard it, but he, they say my name is Dahlia for something. Oh no! I'm um, sorry. He told his true name to somebody. It was. I wasn't. In, I forgot who it was. <laughs> I think it was uh, the dad. He's like, yeah, my true name is Dahlia. Die. <laughs> my man has snapped. It is over, bro. Hey, Ryuki. What's wrong? Can we just take <laughs> Tom away? <laughs> <laughs> Tama. Ryuki's brain. I am detecting anomalies in the firing of multiple neurons. It is not fatal, but he will be unable to speak for a while. What caused it? Unknown. His brain issue? However, it is advisable to not continue pressing Ryuki further. Then I guess I'll have to investigate the old-fashioned way. <sighs> Thanks, Ryuki. Thank you for your time. Pass mildly away. I was a normal person and it doesn't sit between titties. She sits on the desk. Mizuki, I'm sorry, I love Aiba's design I better. I heard you synced into Ryuki, but you didn't get anything out of it. What's your body, body? made of? The rubbery part of you. That's not the eyeball. Oh, this? I believe it is made from seaweed extract of some kind. In a predicament, you can eat it. Eat Aiba. It gets really tight in your eye socket, you know. I wanted to stretch out a bit so I don't get too used to that economy class. Excuse me, my left eye is first class, unlike Date. True. Why do you ask? Isn't it obvious what I'm looking at? That's fun. I'm Mizuki Date, formerly Okiura. I'm a senior at Sekiba High. I'm 18. I run a company and I'm a singer at Abyss. Recently, I've been worried that my lifestyle is making my skin break out and I'm putting on weight. And since I run into so many low-life criminals, it's really been affecting me. You seem tired. Don't push yourself too hard. Who is this cutie? Her cuteness is gonna make my eyes pop out of their sockets. Your eye is already popped out. That's a joke, Iba. No one ever compliments me. 
so I had to do it myself. But in all seriousness, I might just be the prettiest girl on the planet. Boss is gonna be like, excuse me? <sighs> Why is it I can't seem to find any decent men? Because you've rejected every man that's come close to you? As you should. <laughs> because they're all pushy basic bros. Mizuki has standards, let's go. That's enough, Aiba, you can close it. Actually, reopen it. Reopen it. I wanna see what it says. That's it. Mizuki, you know about that mannequin, right? It talks. Yeah, we've talked a few times. Uh, why can't I eat just the toppings? Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. You said you'd let me handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. That wasn't dangerous. Uh, but I did find a lead. Dolly a boat. Huh? But what does that get us, exactly? I searched every database I have access to. I did not find anything that connects that name with terror. There's gotta be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't mentally stable right now. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after trauma or mental disturbance. So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? Boss is correct. There is no guarantee that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, but it isn't completely random either. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. True, but... Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. Yeah, like how Date's dead, hmm? He was carried to the medical office last night. After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. I'm guessing he's drinking again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago, he just needs more time. I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. Wait, how did you know? Peter told me. Running his mouth. I'm gonna cut his pay. So if her daughter was 18, now she's 24. You're getting old. You should stop cruising bars. Ugh, could you not sound like my daughter? Who is your daughter? Daughter? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, well, yeah. I had no idea you had an illegitimate daughter. She's not illegitimate. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just. No one ever asked. I'm asking, who's your daughter? Okay, that's enough digging into no. my private No, who is life your daughter? You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. But how is that possible? Hmm. Masked woman? The shady chick who tried to shoot me with a gun. Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you Don't think, think so. that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. Fight me, Iba. Hey, Don't Mizuki. Mizuki ever. Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. <sighs> Teenagers. So, what are you going to do now, Mizuki? I think I'm gonna head to the stadium. There might be some leads that only I can find. Sounds good. But, as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, yeah. Respectful. Roger that, Sergeant. Sheesh. <laughs> Wait, did she? Did I look at? Boss is sitting on the desk. <laughs> we went from car to limousine to moped. body's been taken away. Of course, the winter cold may help, 
but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Why not use my function? What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Oh, that! Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. Iba. I'm pretending da Date isn't dead. That's what I'm doing right now, by the way. I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. What if, what if Mizuki took Aiba because... Okay, first of all, this is the original body, and Ryuki brought it back. So they know that something happened to Date that Aiba's given away. Why, what if Mizuki just took Aiba really and never became this. a singer? It's like going back in time. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. Now, let us begin. The point I am most curious about is... How the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The <laughs> cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. Okay. There's something shiny there, but it won't let me acknowledge it, so... Go, Mizuki, go! Hey, Aiba, how far is it from the corner of the seats to the middle of the center circle? Approximately 190 to 220 feet. Could the body have been thrown from the bleachers? Pardon? That would explain how the body got there with no footprints. Hold on. There is so much wrong with that. What do you mean? The record for the hammer throw is 284 feet. The hammer is 16 pounds. The body in question is indeed cut in half, but it still must weigh more than that. Maybe they used a catapult. Have you forgotten? No other damage to the body was found besides where it was cut. If the body were thrown, there would be evidence of that. I see. I mean, you could do it. Okay, I was gonna say, I see it's shiny, but... Hmm? There's something in the grass. It appears to be a screw. The grass was so long, you couldn't see it with the naked eye. What's this? Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but... I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. Is this... a tire tread? A bike, maybe. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. But there is only the one. So, something with one wheel. Hey, Oshoma, have you been the killer all along? This tire track, it looks familiar. His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face, nor his body. So you're saying there is no evidence of plastic surgery? It's gin for sure. Temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. 
This is related to specific heat capacity. What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. Anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water, so you perceive it as being colder. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Machine oil, huh? Choma, what you been doing, my guy? That should complete the investigation. Use How did Oops. Terror move the body to where it was found? I didn't mean to skip that. That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. <laughs> Using it. Jesus. Using the evidence we found, we can play your How is the body carried without leaving footprints? Whatever. I can't read. We should consider how exactly it was carried. Something with one wheel. How the corpse ended up where it did. Yes. There was no additional damage to the body. If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? What specifically? Tire track. <laughs> right here, on the halfway line. You see the tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? I think it was a robot. The screw we found in the grass. And the machine oil. You have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot. But we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not. But... Those tire marks looked familiar. Choma. Let us imagine it was a mono-wheel robot. And it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Okay, Miss Star in the making. <laughs> I am the director slash cameraman, Aiba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? All oh, right, that guy. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on. I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither job requires showing skin. Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. Ready? Action! My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this! I'll use this robot remotely, and... Uh... This is hard. Things look dicey there, but I got it back! did it. Mm, but Wonderful. it didn't go back. Great acting. So if it had to go forward, so he, he wouldn't have put it down in front of him. He would have put it down behind him, but sure. I especially liked the performance of your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. 
Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. We're gonna see grown up Shoma. Aiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Naturally, we should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furoe being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin, too. We should also head to Sekiba High. That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? Off we go. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Oh yeah, are they right. dating now or something? Uh huh? Isn't that... Kizuna and Lian. They might know where Shoma is. Let's go! Interrupt their date? Question mark? Oh, she Hi, got crippled. Hi, you two. Huh. Big sis. Oh. Hey, Mizuki. He looks the same. Hey, oh, that looks cool, though. Does she control it? Where'd she control it? Hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. Not referring to you, of course, but... Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. I used to come here with her often. I think it was summer, when I was 10 years old. I accidentally got my clothes dirty. It was my father's favorite imported outfit. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. She what? I was shocked. But then, she jumped in after me. Let's do some laundry, she said. Aww. Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other, I remember her saying, when you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. So do you want us to push you into the water? It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, but also my heart. Because we can. I was trying to find an excuse or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. She even went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things. To come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. We went home together, soaking wet and laughing. Father laughed with us. I was just lost in that memory. Nice. Huh? What is it, Big Sis? Well... Uh... Oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. As you know... The injury I received to my spine six years ago caused my legs to stop working. I have been in a wheelchair ever since. I will not be able to dance anymore, like I used to. Dancing was the one thing that freed my heart. No more. But it would be inappropriate of me to complain. I was caught in an explosion, and yet I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. Six years ago, Big Sis. Yep, I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. I got a good partner. Indeed. Oh, is that a false eye? Yeah, something like that. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. <laughs> oh, quiet. Aww. <gasps> you can't make Iva cry. Look 
at that face. No. He's baby. No. A little screenshot of that. He's so cute. Lively, I see. Hmm. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing in particular. I am just not feeling well today. And Leanne was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down, so I called her, and sure enough, I told her, let's go to your favorite place. You really understand her well, My guy hasn't you? changed outfits in six years. Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? No, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I don't know. Damn. Of course! My feelings haven't changed a bit. If anything, they've gotten stronger. When I'm with Kizzy, my heart soars. It soars so high, I feel like I can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy. It's my dream to fly. I remember telling you, so it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. Wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man, after all. That's a good skill for him. He knows how to pick a lock. I want to make enough make money to be lock. able to support her. Hmm. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. You can't tell? I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy walking in a park together. Multi-level marketing scheme? Hmm. It's a date! Oh, this was a date? Uh, well, I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace, for Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know? <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. It's practically our second home. Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. Y yeah sure. No, I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. Leanne and Shoma became friends. I need to head home the incident soon. six years ago, Mizuki was the one who put them together. Shoma lost his father six years ago. Mizuki thought it would be a good idea to introduce Leanne to Shoma to cheer him up. Nowadays, they are almost like brothers. So it's hard to tell who's the older one and who's the younger one. Huh? Already? We just got here. I remembered that I have to do something. Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. I believe you are mistaken. Oh. Wait. Is it my fault? What? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Well... Is that not how you feel about me? Wh what do you mean? I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't. What are you saying? Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting um, strange. She's probably a little depressed. Why not wink sync with her? I know. Lian, you are only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. In truth, I feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Lian. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Kizzy. She is assuming Leanne's feelings come from a place of pity. What is it? Can I wink sink into Leanne too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. Can you please? I want to know Leanne's true feelings. Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. I'm sorry. Kizzy, I couldn't save you. 
I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You. And I. Forever. Forever. Eternally. Just be like... Ayo, hey, not to start something real quick, but... Shut the fuck up, Kizzy, you're wrong. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just <laughs> read both your minds, and guess what? You're both fucking stupid. Is that what you want to say? Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. And? This needs to be solved between them. Iba, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. I'm not a dog. Anyway, I need to be going. Leon, thank you for today. That's funny. It's like, how old are you? 12. Shut the fuck up. But please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But Kizzy. Go after her. There she goes. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. Yeah, we are, Iba. We have another job to do. Shut up, Iba. Find Shoma. Shut up, Iba. My guy, go after her. What's with these men? Dante never went back after it. Tommy. That's my biggest gripe with this man. He's like, ah, yes. Women. Ha ha. He he. Hoo hoo. I want women. And then he told me, he's like, do you want to get back together? And he's like, I mean, I guess I, I get like the Shoma thing. Isn't here. He's not the same person hey, anymore. Mizuki. But... Why are you just sitting in his house? What are you doing in the kotatsu? Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. <laughs> it's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Anyway. Let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. No one-wheeled robot in here. It was in here before. Hmm. Hey, Perv, don't look. There's legs. Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeked. All right, question time. A lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. The correct answer is zero square feet. Lions don't eat grass. But Leon eats grass sometimes. What kind of little kid logic is that? <clears throat> I ever just got meme. Hey, my name is Penny Ben. Nice to meet you. It talks. This thing talks? Strange name, too. Could it be hidden in here? It wouldn't fit. We it's couldn't find the robot down. anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? I don't oranges? get the sentiment of oranges and... Kotatsu. I want to, you know, I want to experience a Kotatsu one day, but I probably would fall asleep because. In any case, we have no time to waste. Mostly confirmed epilepsy. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> Let's get going. I like how I x rayed her legs. She's like, you're a pervert. It's like, bones. <laughs> like, I don't think you're a pervert for looking at people's bones. <laughs> I think it's just weird. What are your bones? Oh, she's oh, alive. Mommy? Mizuki, what are you doing here? Vibing. Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. She looks the exact same. What about you, Guinea? I haven't seen him recently. I see. 
Gen knows about Shoma. Before the incident six years ago, Shoma frequented this place. His father must have brought him here too. You okay? I'm not feeling well, but I'm just tired. Don't worry. You should go home and rest. I'm sure she's killed someone. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern, but I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? I know it's just a rumor, but people going missing after watching a ViewCube video. It's the same as the urban legend from six years ago. What? What is that? But it's different this time. I think it's actually happening. I was able to find the video. Do you want to watch it? <clears throat> not right now. Now's not the time. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Something bigger? Like what? My Nirvana Initiative. Not again. What? Not again with you. It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Iba? Why is this broken? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kind of creepy. Are you here? Well, because I guess I didn't need to ask. Why is it broken? Stop. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah, it's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. Of course I like the food too, but I like the atmosphere and how you fit right in, Genny. It's really calming. It's my favorite place. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot, and sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. <laughs> Why do you not like quizzes? Mame's questions are really niche. Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice seeing you two together. You're almost like father and daughter. <laughs> I guess Amame is like my daughter. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it just reminded me of my dad. Right, your parents. They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Hey, Amame. I mean, if it's if Mizuki, if that was you being offensive, just a reminder: both of your father figures slash fathers, same difference, died. Actually, well, I was gonna say all three, but no, one of them. So at one point, okay, not okay. Her real dad, biological dad, dead. Yeah. He wasn't a really he wasn't really a dad though i'm pretty sure both of her parents never took care of her anyway so he doesn't entirely count but like he died okay then date was a father figure for two people because he was technically iris's father for like a little bit then he was mostly mizuki's father sorry iris but you just you, it didn't work out okay you're not a good kid i guess the vibes didn't feel good the vibes were off he abandoned you i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding other things happened but like if if it's somehow Mizuki being offensive, just a reminder, both of her parents, like her father figures are dead. She don't have any parents at all. At all. Hmm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. Did something happen? I saw on the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Something related to that? Actually, yeah. Where were you? Last night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think that was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. Ryuki? I see. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like something a drunkard would say to me. The customer next to Ryuki was saying some weird things, too. When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion, mirror worlds and the like. The customer ran off spouting that gibberish. 
I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. Huh. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Yuki was gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go by Miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, Why is huh? thing so broken? Yeah. I don't know if I liked that. Yeah, please do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Mame has been inviting me, but actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mame? Yeah. Was it six years ago? I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time, I was shocked by how good it was. It was the first time I felt that way since eating Ota's food. I don't think I called it a glow up, but I like the rainbow flag, my guy. I don't. What is that hair, my guy? Mizuki. I know. I said I'm not gonna Oja get a haircut, here. but why not? He's a rival. Whatever. Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. How is he related to the incident at the stadium? It's confidential. I can't tell you that. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? It's okay. I just need some rest. Mame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Winks and Don't worry about me. Guess we'll take her word for it. Mizuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should lead this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. Mommy. <laughs> Shoma? I haven't seen him. What about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. With his eyes. Shoma always comes in alone. And he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? If he did, it wouldn't be good. Video? Ota knows Shoma too. Iris introduced them to each other. Cool. Hi, Idris. Eggplants, eggplants, I love eggplants. I love eggplants. Mapo. Mapo. I love Mapo tofu. At least she finally got better taste in shoes. You don't look 30 years old. You think so? I have been making some progress lately. I've gained a lot of life experience. I'm a refined adult now. I don't know about experience, but you did change up your look. If there was a contest for adults who don't look or act their age, you'd do well. So you're saying I look really young. That's a compliment. Young? Don't you mean more like childish? Oh, stop, Tessa. You're embarrassing me. She means that I'm as cute and pure as a child in the prime of their youth. I don't think that's what she meant. I suppose his positive thinking is what allows him to retain his youth. <laughs> Thank you. Why is her hair messed up? You're a super popular internet idol at Lemniscate. Oh no, I'm not really that big a deal. Not to mention there's a ton of new talent. If I take my eyes off my dream for even one second, they'll pass me by. It's pretty cool that you haven't let fame get to you. And you're still serious about chasing your dream, Iris. Well, things are different now. I'm not a teenager. I can't rely on my youth or make cringy comments anymore. I need to work hard and prepare for the winter. Like the ant and the grasshopper. I've got to leave my mark on the net world. I really want to chug jug with you. I would classify that as cringe. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Iris. It's part of your charm. You simp for this? My guy, you need better morals. This bitch just said chug jug. Uh -huh. <laughs> Six years ago. From Divida? Yeah, do you remember? That's not something I can just forget. I saw half a body appear out of nowhere. I saw it explode, and why are you asking me about it now? We got the other half, my guy. Well, here's the thing. It must have teleported. It got stuck in another dimension, and half the body got sucked in. The body got sliced in half, then time traveled six years to now. Jeez, bodies cut in half, blowing up, showing up out of nowhere? How do you explain it if it's not paranormal? If I may, the questions of how the body appeared and how it detonated were answered by subsequent investigation, the carbon nanotubes and a thermite reaction. Right, but that doesn't explain how the other half of the body showed up. That strange occurrence can't be explained by science alone. What I think happened is something like the Bermuda Triangle manifested here. On the east coast of North America, in the Atlantic Ocean, there's a spot called the Bermuda Triangle. Tons of ships and planes and stuff have vanished without a trace there. There's a bunch of theories, but no one can really explain the how and why. I think I always explain why is saying that a lot of things go over there, that area specific. So yes, things disappearing there are bound to happen because there's just more things going there. Some people think it's a miniature black hole. Others think aliens abducted them. There's even one story about a corpse that was found in the area. He died 64 years ago, but the body didn't age a day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, given Iris's enthusiasm for the topic, but the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. The kind of examples she mentioned are usually misunderstandings, exaggerations, or completely fabricated. In other words, the mysterious aspects of the Bermuda Triangle are entirely man-made. According to calculations, the probability of a vessel going missing in that area is no different than any other place. I don't want to spoil her fun. I'm not going to tell her. <laughs> Mizuki, do you know about the video uploaded to ViewCube? Mame told me there was some rumor about a video making people vanish after they watch it. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? He could have. Shoma solved the BATS 490 code, right? Is there a code hidden in the new video too? Yeah, I think so. But I didn't understand it. I think Ota knows more about it. He's been trying to solve it. I guess he's not afraid of what might happen. Anyway, don't watch that video again. Consider it an order from the president of Lemnisgate. If those rumors are true, it could be dangerous. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You think she really understands? I do not believe there is any <laughs> point in asking. <laughs> 24, dang. You're gonna cut your hair. I've been busy. I haven't had a chance to cut it. You're really busy, huh? Want me to cut it? Snip, 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 snip. How long is this gonna take? Really? You'll cut my hair? Hmm. Well, I think I'll save that experience for later. I want to grow it out longer so I have as much haircut time with Tessa as humanly possible. Longer hair does not take longer to cut. Anything it takes, like, less time, because... Ota, if you're gonna head this restaurant, you should care more about how you look. Hey, that's actually what Gen from Brahmin said, too. But it's not like spending more time on my appearance is gonna make my food taste better. I'm dying. Besides, I get plenty of customers. Oh, yeah? Who? Name one. This place is poppin'. Well, yeah. With my cooking skills, that's to be expected. I think history will call me the chef blessed by the culinary gods. Okay, but the only customer here is Iris, though. Because I'm on break. Didn't you see the sign? During regular business hours, I don't have time for breaks. Ota is not exactly exaggerating. Matsushita Diner offers affordable, tasty food. Queues often form out the door. So it actually gets pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, and I welcome the challenge. I don't want to lose to Gen. Why are you two competing anyway? Why not? He talks about me like some kind of mortal enemy or something. I hear him talking trash about me. 
He says I'm not dedicated to my cooking. Not determined to be the best. But I want to prove to him that I'm better. And I do it my way. Just you watch. I'm gonna make Matsushita Diner super popular. I'll have three Michelin stars one day. Okay. Of course. I'm still Tessa's number one fan, after all. It's my duty to support her. I name search her on Twitter and defend her to anyone talking trash. I even use multiple accounts so she can rise to the top of trending. I am devoted, day and night. Thank you for everything you do, Oda. Iris, you really shouldn't be adding more fuel to the fire here. Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Freight, crate, Tessa! Airplanes! Height, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! <laughs> She's got away with people. The new video uploaded to ViewCube. Yeah, and the rumor that people who can decode it go missing. So, Ota, were you able to decode it? Nope. And I've tried, believe me. This one's harder than Bats 490 from six years ago. I've been thinking about how and why exactly the people who watch the video end up missing. My guess is the people who solve it end up mind-controlled. Like Project Bluebeam or MK Ultra. Hey, Ota. What's Ota's black sauce? It's our house special soy sauce. <laughs> it's a project by NASA that projects lasers and holograms into the atmosphere. They say it's for investigating the atmosphere and ionosphere. But in reality, it's a scheme to take over the world. The idea is they can project images of aliens, UFOs, God, anything they want. It tricks the people of Earth into thinking the planet is being invaded or something. That way, they can unite the world under the false pretense of fighting back against a foreign threat. It gets the people of the world to abandon their allegiances to religion or any one nation, and instead unify under a new world order. So this video is kind of the same idea. Project an image into your mind that makes you think a certain way. MK Ultra is the code name for a top okay. secret project that the CIA was running that tested different kinds of mind control. Their so called experiments were inhumane, even torturous, all to try to prove mind control exists. They forced unsuspecting patients to take LSD and did electroshock therapy, hypnosis. And the results of their experiments were all destroyed. So no one knows anything for sure. Iva, can you show me the video? I have already found it. It is posted to ViewCube under the name Nirvana Trial. Nirvana? Can you play it? At once. These stupid videos, bro. seen this. This is the same video from years ago. This man robs your ghost. Same video. Pilots. Yeah, we've already seen this video. Hmm. I didn't get anything from that. But there is a high likelihood that this is related to the HB case. Did you notice the similarities? The code that Shoma decoded, that, and the QR video. Yes. The video from six years ago linked to Jin Furaway from our investigation. It can't just be a coincidence. The rumors about the missing people must have something to do with the HB case for sure. Yes. We do not know for certain if Shoma saw the Nirvana trial video, but... It is all the more reason to find him as soon as possible. But that video is not new. Hey, Mizuki. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty spaced out there for a while. I'm fine. I'm gonna head out and look for Shoma. 
Let me know if you find anything. Yeah. Got it. You again. Sorry to bother you at work. You're Jin Furoe's... Yes. I was his nurse when Jinny was here. I call him Jinny because he was still in his late teens when he was here. Of course, he grew up. He was a very important man. But to me, he's still that little kid. I've had enough with marriages. It's really a hassle to build up a relationship. I'm too busy. And I'm almost 40. Wow, she looks nothing close to 40. She does look young for her age. My name is Hana Yonasu. Hmm, I don't know. I'm bad at remembering things. They call me an airhead, even though I'm a lifesaver. I can get them in in the tightest spots. The needle? No, I'm talking about cars. You're talking about parking? I remember Jinny well. I heard he was born kind of frail, and he'd been in and out of the hospital since he was young. You heard? Yes. As I said earlier, I was only his nurse when he was in his late teens. Okay. What kind of illness did he have? It was a visceral disease. Though by the time he passed, he was completely cured. I cannot search anything on Jin's illness. Those records have been completely wiped. I never thought he'd get so big. When I first saw him in the magazines, me and some older nurses that knew him were really surprised. When he was a kid, he was shy and really timid. He couldn't even use the restroom alone at night. He was so soft-spoken. I never thought he'd become so successful and become the president at a big company. But he was killed. That's about it, though. I haven't seen him since he left the hospital. Anything you noticed about him, seeing him from afar? Well, let's see. He'd really changed. Did he almost look like a different person? Are you suspecting a change in identity? Yeah, we can cross off twin or clone, but maybe he was replaced by someone else. No, I'm sure it was him. I only saw him in pictures and read about him, but... but... He was a neat freak. Very meticulous. I could sense it in his words. I'm positive it was him. Okay. My ear. Wait, why is this man in the school? I feel like you shouldn't be allowed near children with your Ryuki, what are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. Isn't it obvious? I'm here for the reinvestigation. Reinvestigation? Leave. Uh, 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 <laughs> Can we put this man in a hospital? I cannot determine anything from him when he is in this state. Okay. Yeah, you look tired. You should go home and rest. I don't have time to rest. I need to find the culprit. Besides, I had Tama tie me up tortoise shell bondage style earlier, so I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, you should definitely just head home. It's all right now, because I am here. Half might, <laughs> half for all. We are full time heroes. I can do anything. I'm like a superhero. I won't lose to the bad guys. And if anyone gets in my way, let it be. He is not capable of participating in normal conversation. He's especially bad today. The investigation has only just begun. I need to keep my eyes wide open. I need to see the pieces. Lost beyond time. This is my case. But, Ryuki, you're... Hold on, Mizuki. Ryuki is not well. He is traumatized. But in these circumstances, it is better to not push back against things he says. You may inadvertently make his condition worse by denying his delusions. Really? Yes. 
It is common practice for patients in Ryuki's condition. Okay, Ryuki. Just don't do too much, okay? Mm. Is Tama even in there? Oh, I know. The shrine. Ikume Shrine. I'll go there. It'll help me calm down. There he goes. There is nothing we can do for him. It is best to let him be. Ryuki was traumatized by the events six years ago, and has been hurting ever since. He tried to return to work, but his symptoms worsened. Yeah, he's supposed to be on leave of absence to get better, but... His symptoms have not improved. Anyway, there are no leads here. Let's get going. To where? did make him go missing. Hey, where's Iba? Hey, yo. Mizuki, you have a call. I, saw I will connect face. you. Was again. Hey, Mizuki. I remembered something about Shoma. There's this place I hear he's been going to a lot. Horidori Institute of Genetics. Huh? What's he going there for? I haven't asked. Horidori Institute. I don't know why, but I guess he might be there. Thanks, Ken. I'll head over there. Be careful. Never seen that kid here. There it is. His temperature is rising. He is lying. Kill him. Well, we made it inside at least. But where's Shoma? Mizuki, I must protest against you doing anything rash. Boss will never let you hear the end of this. What are you talking about? You punched the security guard unconscious to get him out of the way. I didn't punch him. It was more of a kick. Same difference. Well, sorry. I'm not very good at covert ops, okay? Anyway, I got this weird feeling. My gut is telling me that Choma is caught up in some bizarre science experiment. Your gut is not a reliable source of information. This facility goes deeper. Shall we go? Of course. I can't go back now. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? You're gonna get punched. Crap, they saw me. You need to be more careful. Intruder, we're going to police. I am the police. Yeah, the police are right here. In your dreams, girl. Let's get her. Yeah. Mizuki. Well, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Mizuki, do not use your full power. We are in the wrong here, you know. Yeah, yeah, got it. Beat them up. Beat them up. Bro, he got a chair. Be his ass. Wait, she's pulling out the pipe. Hmm? Bonk. 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 <laughs> that settles that. Three bonks. Be on your guard. More are coming. There! There's the intruder! Bonk, Damn. bonk, bonk. That was fast. But superior numbers aren't gonna do them any good. Uh oh. You say that, but now you look uh, frightened. Okay, maybe they will. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Uh, it's your best friend. Uh, you need a hand? Yeah. Wait. Is this the enemies to lovers arc? She shot at me, but now we're friends. Enemies to lovers <sighs> arc. I That's don't care. the last of them. Look, you can see what shirt I'm wearing. You know how I feel. That was dangerous. I. But that also just might like be an alternate timeline. Mizuki. Thank you. Wait. What are you doing here? And why did you help me? Should I not have? You know that's not what I mean. Why are you here? I don't follow. 
You shot at me yesterday. That was yesterday. Today is today. <laughs> okay, she moves on fast. She's like, it's a new day. New alliances today. But tomorrow... What? Anyway, do you hear that? Hear what? Squeak. Squeak, she... Oh, yeah, she's like... What? Remember when she's like, I'm a mouse. Or I'm a rat. Rats don't wear rats don't wear shoes, and he's like, "You're not a rat." And she's like, "Squeak, squeak." <laughs> Ayo. Um, what is going on here? We beat people with a pipe. We have fun beating people with a pipe. And once again, asking, "Do you want us to push you in the water? You know, for old times' sake." We'll pull you out, of course, but it'd be fun. We should be far enough away now. Indeed. I do not sense any pursuers nearby. Now, you two. You two. Let's talk. Okay. Why are you there? The Corridori Institute is funded by my father. I mean, true, but... You are aware of that fact, correct? Yeah. I came to confirm something. I thought I could use my name to give me some authority. What did you want to know? Not gonna tell me, huh? What were you doing there, big sis? Crime. I'm looking for Shoma. I heard that he's been seen there a lot recently. Shoma? Well, he is definitely not there. Huh? How do you know? He contacted me on Nile on the way here. Shoma is in the mountains of Nagano. He's gone camping, alone. That is what his Nile message said. He sent that message to myself, Mame, and you as well. Oh, what? You're right. He's coming back on his motorbike today. Shoma is 18 now, old enough to ride a motorcycle. You make it sound as though you're older, but you two are the same age. Iba, can you check if he's really camping? On it. Hmm, he's not lying. He has been at the campgrounds the last few days. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in various locations. For the past few days, huh? At the very least, that does provide him an alibi but not in his robot. throwaway case. Not really, because his robot could work without him. But even then, it is still the most yeah. likely possibility that his robot carried the body. Do you think someone used Shoma's robot without his permission? Maybe. Anyone could do it. The Enda house has no security. Anyone could get in or out. I guess we don't need to look for Shoma anymore. I have? I'm the same as ever. No, something's been off about you since lunch today. It's almost like the anniversary. Does it have anything to do with why you were at Horadori Institute? The fountain. The park is one of my favorite places. I am certain that is why Leon brought me here so many times. For the past six years, whenever he saw that I looked bored, he would bring me here and try to make me laugh. He would trip into the fountain on purpose, sometimes even pretending As to drown. Should. Honestly, none of it was funny. But before I knew it, I fell in love with this park even more. Oh my god. Wrong way. Hi. You must be really strong. You must be really strong. You seem pretty handy with a gun. So who are you? Don't try to find out. How could I not? You're one of the most suspicious people I've ever seen. You're on the list of suspects. That's a mistake. I'm not a suspect. We'll see. That's for me to decide. And one more thing. I'm not strong. I don't have a strong body. Okay. Why'd you like shoot me? <laughs> Mizuki, I think you have, like, an enemy's lover's arc, but the enemy is just someone who's just memeing on you. Who just feels like shooting at a high school girl? I don't think the high school part is relevant. I almost died. No, that would be impossible. I shot you with rubber bullets. You didn't notice? You mean... I had no intention of killing you. Then why did you shoot me? She felt like it. Just trust me. I'm not your enemy. She, bon she just wanted to bonk you, bro. Concerned about what happened at the Institute earlier? Don't worry about it. They won't report it. Why not? For two reasons. First, the weapons they had are illegal. 
If those firearms are discovered, that could cause the facilities to be closed. What's the other reason? They are doing some questionable research. They wouldn't want the police anywhere near. I see. Whew. I'm glad, though. It seems you are safe this time. If Boss found out, she may have cut you in half herself. Boss is evil? I was investigating. Investigating? Are you some kind of detective or something? Yes. Something like that. You know about the gene therapy research they're doing there, don't you? Yeah. I don't totally understand it, she but wants it's something it. about rewriting DNA, Fix her right? Body. I heard that they're doing illegal things there. I wanted to know about the dark side of their research myself. So okay. that is why I'm investigating them. I want to know who did this oh, to me. Oh, she was tested on. Did what to you? Fine. If you don't want to give me the details, at least tell me this. They're doing shady things in there, and you want to find out what, right? That's right. Then we're teammates. I can't talk about it. Why not? It's top secret. Top secret? But it could have something to do with my investigation. I wouldn't know. Hey, Iva, can we sink into her? I wouldn't even try. There is no way you would get Boss's permission. <sighs> but I can tell you this. It's about Tokiko Shigure. Tokiko Shigure? The president of Nyes? That's right. She's dead. The president of Horidori Institute. Chikara was a senior member of Nyes. And he kind of molested her. 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, she became pregnant with his child. Okay. What? Chikara didn't want anything to do with it. He already had a wife and child. He demanded she get an abortion, but she refused. She gave birth to the child. Okay, and it was you? At the time, she had no immediate family and no money. Chikara was terrified. He was worried that the child might grow up to resent him and threaten him with blackmail. So he came up with a plan to have them adopted to one of his friends. To persuade Tokiko, he promised her prestige and power at Nyes that she would one day be president. Through tears, Tokiko reluctantly accepted and let the child go. She did become president. Tokiko lost her child, but she did become a powerful member of Nyes. Ultimately, she became the president of the Japan branch. Are you the child? Why? I want to see your face. I refuse. You want me to trust you? Then show me your face. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on right now. Ugh. And I have a big pimple on my nose as well. It's embarrassing. Then I'll just force you to take it off. Don't bother trying. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. If you tried, it would rip my skin off. had this conversation before. Or did you want to see my facial muscles? If that's the case, then I won't stop you. Okay, I lied. I would stop you. So does that mean you're gonna wear that mask forever? No. I'll take it off if I need to. The mask will come off if I apply the remover. There are certain kinds of glue that require a special chemical to remove. The bond may also deteriorate naturally over time. You're saying they could be terror? Or you. That's not possible. Why not? They've already passed. Really? It is a certainty. Who was it? If they're already dead, tell me. Tell me the secrets. That's enough for now. I'm going to get going. No. Fine, but don't get in my way again. I won't get in your way. I'll only do what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, and one more thing. Earlier when you... Thanks for saving me. Hmm. You don't need to thank me for that. And one more thing for me, too. If you plan on continuing your investigation, there are two important things to consider. First, whatever happens, don't lose sight of yourself. Even if someone you trust betrays you. And the other thing, Ryuki. Be wary of him. What? See you around. Bye, honey. <sighs> Wait! What do you mean by that? I like how Kizuna is just like... And they're just having Jeez. this whole like conversation Taking behind her and right she's just like... dropping that bombshell? Fountain. She is right in that Ryuki isn't quite himself right now. Wait, how does she even know about Ryuki? She's met him quite a few times. Unknown. Well, how you doing, Kizuna? Kizuna? It's no good. She's not answering. 
Then we will have to ask her mind. Right. <laughs> the experiment was a success. <laughs> What is this? It seems Kizuna knows something about the dark side of Horidori Institute. Mizuki, we have no choice. Kizzy, I'm sorry, but will you let me into your dream? My dream? Tell me your secrets, Kizzy. Tell me them all. I need to know what you've done. Hello, everyone. I'm doing this legally this time. Okay, I think I get the picture. <laughs> Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. I think it's something to do with the HB case, so... Okay, then. Pewter, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Mizuki, I'm sure you already know, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Seven yep. minutes. I'll be back before then. Okay. Let's get started. Or was it eight minutes? I don't remember. I think I actually might have been like ten minutes, actually. Maybe it'll make me a little bit longer. You never know. Up the time limit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I'm dialing. Is that a squirrel? Diary. She's a diary. Think Somnia power. Hourly wage increase. You don't get paid. I am the eye magician girl. Iba. Feels like I'm watching anime. In the name of AI, I will punish you with flogging and flaying. Whoa, 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 that's way over the top. What is this eye magician girl's special move? I punch your abdomen repeatedly. That sounds more like a fighting anime than a magical girl thing. Iva, is that? It is similar to the Chikara we saw in the Wink Sink. The page turned. Hmm. That picture book might have some info. Yes, we should inspect it. Somnium scan! Activate! Kizuna knows something about Chikara. Follow her through your story. Following her story might uncover some hidden memories. Start. Hey, how come I already lost some time? Wait, why am I losing time? Why am I losing time? It's a large but if you stood book. still, you don't lose time. What the sh- What the f- I heard that Kizzy likes picture books and fairy tales and all that. Does this represent her feelings? It is worth a look. Turn page or read. Read. There's writing. Little Blue Riding Hood. Is that the title? Not read? The text below reads, The girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. Huh? Another picture. This is Blue Riding Hood. Huh? What is that? Bonk. Whoa! 
What was that? Something fell. Is that Blue Riding Hood? Did she get the wolf? Memed. Something came out. Let's take a look. Little girl liked blank. She admired blank and blank. The timer's just constantly decreasing. I think that is a crime. Diary? Does it say anything? It appears to be more of a continuation from the picture book than a diary. Let's read it. It was a little child wearing a blue hood. She rose her fist and bravely scared the wolf away. The girl thanked the blue hooded hero, but she scoffed in return. Can you not walk, fool? Blue Riding Hood was a little rude, but the girl smiled. Blue Riding Hood carried the girl on her back and took her home. The two of them were surprised when they got there. From that day on, Blue Riding Hood was family. What a great introduction! Thank you, big sis. The girl took her hand, but she made a weird face. Maybe she was just being shy, but in any case, she said, Nice to meet you, with a nod. Okay, Kizuna's Red Riding Hood. The girl she misses is Blue Riding Hood. <laughs> Big Sis always was the courageous one. Ah, the memories. Big Sis must be that girl she's always talking about. Right. Perhaps she saved her from a dog or something when she was younger. That experience turned into the story of Little Blue Riding Hood. So that picture book was a story of Kizuna's memories. Something happened to the book. Check it out. More writing. The two of them never left each other's side. They went to the forest together. More new pictures. Okay, new horror, new uh... The little girl liked fairy tales from a young age. Hansel and Gretel, but Hannah and It's Gretel. a large picture book. It had- Oops. This time, it's... Hannah and Gretel. It's a little different from the story I know. Below it... Hannah and Gretel found a house made out of candy in the forest. Huh? That's not a house made of candy. That's a witch! Mizuki, there is more witchiness over there. Lots of stuff this time. Let's look. She married fairy tales and... A candle in the shape of a witch. Something is suspicious about it. It's a witch-shaped candle. This does not seem to be modeled after anything specific. The candle is made of paraffin. Standard wax. So you can use it then? Yes. I am sure it will burn with fire. Fire? Mizuki, you have five minutes left. It's a witch-shaped candle. Mm, Someone punching it. Good idea. Huh, something's there. A piece of paper? What does it say? Snack transformation spell. Forma Rans Knack Titans. That is what it says. A snack spell? Maybe you can turn something edible. Should I try it on something? The girl made up spells. She cast on herself to world of evil or something. There's something here. 
a piece of paper. Does it say anything? Hot, hot blaze spell. Ziblato to. Hot, hot blaze spell. Think we can use it for something? It's a witch shaped candle. Skewer that candle and cook it. This is not a barbecue. I will light the fire. Hot, hot blaze spell. Zibla to to. Oh, it lit up. The candle is gone. I but look, the witch in the picture book. So the witch candle must be tied to the picture. The witch is gone. Now we have these assorted snacks. Okay. Cookie. Huh. Something came out over there. Let's go. Toward off misfortune. A large chocolate chip cookie. It must contain at least three days worth of calories. Who should I share it with? I do not see Kizuna. Maybe you can just pretend. Hmm. It isn't breaking. Maybe it's not a real cookie. That could be the case. I'll try eating it too real quick. It's a large cookie. That cookie in the picture book was partially eaten, right? I didn't know. Try to bite it the might same way. Tr trigger the I thing. see. That may indeed trigger something. All right, here I go. Let uh, Iba consume. How? That's a huge bite. Another book. Okay. I'll read it. Father, you liar. How many times have you lied to me? Gretel finally shed a tear. Ever since her mother died, her father has been working all the time. She barely got to spend any time with him. Her father gave her tons of snacks, but Gretel was not happy. Do not worry. I'll beat up any evil-doing witches around here. Her father would reassure Gretel after hearing tales of evil witches. But the evil witch was inside Gretel. The witch filled her with sadness and turned her selfish. Her older sister Hannah tried hard to cheer Gretel up, but Gretel's tears didn't stop. Father. Who is the girl? Oh no. Hmm. This must be her memories of her father, Richie Chieda. It seems that Kizuna was quite sad. I can kind of relate. Oh, the book changed again. We should take a look. More text. Gretel continued to cry and cry for a long, long time. Hmm? hmm? Something happened to the slide. Little girl like fairy tales from a young age. She admired fairy tales and saw herself as the. You have about four tales. minutes left. It's a large picture book. This one appears to be Cinderella. The 
The title is Cinderella. Cinderella. Below that, it says, Cinderella spent a dreamy night with the prince. A castle. And a clock. One of the hands fell. It wasn't a regular picture, I guess. This shorthand. Can we use it for something? No. Let's hold on to it, just in case. Where are you storing these things? Hit one glass slipper in a blah 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 blah. The clock is part of the slide. On closer inspection, the hour hand is missing. You're right. Let's take the shorthand from earlier and there. It fits perfectly. Hmm. What's going on? This is a crazy trick. Kizuna does appear timid, but I suppose she can be expressive at times. I never would have thought. I guess she hides it well. Another change to the picture book. Where should we start? Reading. It's a large picture book. There's more writing. Cinderella buried her slippers as a way to confirm their feelings. I see. To the tree! Why? Just do it. Oh? A time capsule. That's right, it was buried here. A time capsule? Six years ago, Liam proposed to Kizzy. He gave her glass slippers instead of an engagement ring. They agreed that if they felt the same way after six years, yada yada yada. Anyway, they decided to bury the thing here till the time came. I completely forgot about it, but it looks like Kizzy remembered. So inside, there is an engagement... shoe? Just one, though. The other's missing. I wonder if it's around here somewhere. Wear the shoe, yeah, why not? Am I even allowed to wear it? It should be fine. Just for a bit. Just for a bit, then. Uh, hold it. Never mind. This is important to Kizuna. I should be careful. Three minutes okay. left, Mizuki. Careful now. My bad. It's the entrance to Iowan. I can see a glass slipper inside. The door is closed. Probably locked. Hmm. This... If we know the four-digit code, we can open this. Four digits long, huh? No time to brute force it, I guess. Oh, wait. It has a colon here. Yeah? Interesting. Anyone home? Pretend you're talking to a friend. Hey, Kizuna. Let's go to the park and play strip poker. Pretend you're a delivery person. Thank you for waiting. It's Gooper Eats. We're here with your cheese tapioca bowl. No reaction to any of it. Huh? Hmm.
It says two o'clock. The clock is part of the slide. What time is it? Say. Shoot. This clock was in sync with the movement of the ground, but it's not moving anymore. The hands have settled on a time. 11.59, it looks like. Okay. 11.59? That's a minute before the spell cast on her wears off. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Please hurry. I can't prove I'm going to be able to do that, though. It's the entrance. What four digits should I... It worked. I had a feeling the time on the clock was the key. A glass slipper. The right one, to be exact. This has got to have some kind of significance. We should hold on to it for now. A time capsule. It contains one glass slipper. Got it. into a picture book again. Big Sis found out about Cinderella's dream and started panicking. Cinderella, even if someone proposes to you, you can't just accept it right away. Don't answer until you know who they really are. Wait five or six years. This was her advice to Cinderella. Big Sis was worried about her naive little sister. Cinderella thought it was a bit much, but she smiled. If I ever meet a person that important to me, I will introduce them to my big sister first. It would be so much fun to share a meal together. And so, Cinderella dreamed another dream. Hmm. But they got separated, right? I received those wonderful slippers. But I cannot dance anymore. I am not worthy of him. I cannot be his princess. What should I do, big sis? Kizzy. Is that the bell? The clock moved. Midnight. The time her spell wears off. What's going on? No more. Show me no more. Let me hear no more. I don't want this anymore. Stopped. The spell wore off. Kizuna must feel that she can no longer be a princess. What should we do? Kizuna doesn't want to look anymore. I don't want her to suffer, but we have to keep going. The picture of the frog with the crown. Wasn't there a clock here earlier? Why did it change? I think it might be hidden. There was a clock here earlier. It seems to have turned into a picture of a frog. A frog with a crown. The frog prince, I'm guessing. What's that story about? Well, an evil witch turned a prince into a frog. That frog tried to make a move on the princess. 
the princess got really mad and slammed the frog into a wall. It was such a hard shock that the spell wore off. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, the story has changed plenty through the ages. Now there's something about a kiss breaking the spell. Huh, I kind of like the original better. It's like a comedy manga. Hmm. It's a big balloon around the swing set. Very suspicious. I wonder if something's hidden there. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. insomnia, secrets are protected by such things. I am sure there is something there. Focus your key on your fingertip and thrust as hard as you can. Ha! Bonk. Curses! Repelling me away like the belly of an old man. Nah, fat old men's bellies aren't that bouncy. Have you tried it before? I've stepped on one. The police chief. How do you still have a job? On the contrary, I got hired by Abyss because of that. Hmm. Does it say something? Yes, another spell. Or a counter spell to be precise. Transformation Dispel. Hmm. For Moran's Titan Sid. A transformation Dispel. Was anything transformed? The frog? Maybe you can use it on that thing. Only a minute left. I'm doing great. It's a picture of a frog with a crown. Let's go! Transformation Dispel! For Moran's Titan Sid! Is this the rudder of a ship? Or the wheel part of a spinning wheel. Right, the Thorn Princess. This wheel has the numbers 1 through 12 on it. It's like a clock. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm not gonna beat this, I'm gonna have to restart my guy. It's the wheel part of a spinning wheel. The Thorn Princess sleeps when she is pierced by the needle on the spinning wheel. Should I not touch it? We're practically sleeping already. Just do it. You're not taking this very seriously. This makes the ground move. Just like the clock from earlier, it's connected to the floor here. Okay, we need to restart. <laughs> this must be her memories of her father. It seems that I can kind of... Oh, the book changed again! We should... I don't know why the skip option isn't really here anywhere. You have about four minutes left. It's a large. The title. Spilla. The clock is... What for? Okay.
Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful now. This is supposed to so if we hopefully pop the balloon. Now we can check the swings. The Thorn Princess continued to sleep. She slept to avoid facing her sadness. Sleep is nice. She slept, trapped by terrible memories. She did not want to be hurt by them anymore. No need to cry and shy away anymore. But, but why? Why do I keep waking up? Why do I keep remembering it? My chest aches. My heart breaks with yours. Never again. Never knew this is how she felt. Any more of this could leave her hurt. Should we continue, Mizuki? It would be worse to leave her like this. Something's weighing on Kizzy's heart, and I want to take that burden away. She's one of my best friends. I understand. I believe in you, Mizuki. together Kizuna you said you will be with me forever is this when she and her older sister got split up but please fine will you at least play a game with me remember how we used to kick our slippers up you used to beat me all the time but now I if I win Please stay. Please. The rules are simple. Kick the shoe further to win. And just like we used to, it will be best of three. Shall I go first? Yeah, let's do this. Hmm. Tilt the left stick. I'm I'm using a mouse and keyboard, but okay. Come on. This is my first time on a swing. Oh, is that all, big sis? Job, Iva. Big sis, so you want to leave me? N no, you've got it all wrong. What should I do, Mizuki? Maybe it's better if you don't win? I don't know if it's better if I don't win, but that's not the truth, is it? Where are you getting a third shoe from? It's better to win because it's just 
True. That's what happens. Enjoying this a little too much. <laughs> Witness me, Mizuki. Observe my perfect control. The thorns. I suppose there is no beating you, Pixis. The big sis, why did you leave me here? Cannot dance anymore, or even stand next to him. He and I has true love true vanished. This memory. It must be the memory hidden away deep in Kizuna's heart. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horidori's research facility. We know this already. What? This is what Kizuna was hiding. But that's not her diary. It had her dad's name on the back. That's... Marichi Chieda. It's Kizuna's father's diary. And where I begun. During the sink, I made a surprising discovery written in Kizuna's dad's journal. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horidori's research facility. So, Kizzy and I came to Iowan. Give. Kizzy, is this... Yes, the diary that was in the chairman's office. Gimme. Can I have? Can I has? This morning, father asked me to look for something in the office. I accidentally knocked some books off the shelf, and I saw this. When it fell to the ground, this page was open, face up. I knew I should not have read it. I regretted it immediately. Terrible things were written there. Things about a girl whose genes were forcibly rewritten. Yeah, the master girl. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I think it would be best if you read this. Okay, gimme. You and gimme. I want to read. I read the diary that Kizzy handed to me. What it said was shocking. There was a girl, a child whose DNA was rewritten. Shikara Horidori performed this task himself. The goal was to find a cure for aging, but the results were unexpected. Child had superhuman athletic abilities. Strength, endurance, agility, they were all well beyond that of normal humans, and those abilities only grew as she got older. And her name was Mizuki Okira. Oh no, maybe. Child was raised away from the other children in Iowan. She was three, she was adopted. That child's name was Mizuki. Mizuki. Mm hmm. The family name. Was Okiura. I hate to break this to you, Mizuki, but neither of your parents had blue hair, so. M Mizuki? I'm. genetically modified? M 
But what about Daddy and Mom? They... weren't my real parents? They're also dead. <laughs> hmm. Hey, no yo, way. it's the other half. Chikara's left half. Four started early this morning around sunrise. A body was found in Yoyagi Park. It, appeared, it looks to be sliced in half. Iba and I bolted out of the house and came here as fast as we could. You're taking the Mizuki, adoption and like... Are you okay? Okay, the adoption's not even really a problem. The fact that you're genetically modified is the... Yeah. It's not the first time I've seen a dead body. That's not what she's asking. That is not what I am referring to. You hardly got any sleep last night. You must be mentally exhausted. No, I suppose that is perfectly understandable. Anyone in a similar situation would... It's fine. That's that, this is this. Let's just focus on the investigation. The body is Chikara's. If we can figure out more about this case, we can figure out other things. Hmm, something I don't like. I don't like lewd jokes. I hate them, actually. Die. So far, nothing. Horidori. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, curry? Uh, aren't you supposed to say something funny? Come on, I'm talking to you. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, jeez. Mizuki, search here later. Focus on taking statements for now. The DNA results came back already. There's no doubt this body is Chikara Horidori's. Estimated time of death is 2.11 at 8 p.m. Nothing on his person. I don't understand this at all. What's really going on here? Nothing in particular. Why haven't you aged? Park cameras didn't pick up anyone suspicious. Means no witnesses. We got nothing. I never thought Horidori's left half would be found like this. This is downright supernatural. I don't get it at all. Someone who was jogging early in the morning. He said when he found the body, he didn't see anyone else around. Okay. He's getting interrogated back at HQ right now. I'm sure he's got nothing more to offer, though. What? Did you think I came here to play Frisbee? I came after I heard about what happened. I need to solve this case. It's my destiny. The investigation is at a standstill. Honestly, things aren't looking good. But that's no reason to abandon this case. Mr. Date wouldn't want me to just give up. He told me something. Ryuki, you have the potential to become our ace at Abyss. I believe in you, and I need to live up to those words. I... I need to arrest Terror with my own hands. What's wrong? Well, thinking about what happened six years ago, how could this happen? Anyway, that half of a body is definitely Chikara's. I saw Chikara's right half at Seki Bahai. This is the other half. And what about it? Have we tried putting them together yet? I'm Want really to curious. Solve this case so bad. It has to be me. Well, see ya. Hey, we weren't done talking. Rat. I wonder if Ryuki is okay. He seemed a little panicky. Yes, but we shouldn't worry about him right now. We should search the area, Mizuki. Maybe we can find some sort of clue. Yeah, got it. Let us begin. We should search this area. On it. Okay. All right. Investigation. It is Chikara Horadori's left side. It is cut at the molecular level. There are no other wounds to the body. This must be the cause of death. Up. It is safe to presume the culprit is the same. 
terror. This should be clear, but this is almost definitely not the murder scene. There are no traces of blood anywhere. The time of death is accurate to what the inspector told us. Last night, around 8 o'clock on the 11th. But why? A stone monument. Mizuki, check the backside as well. What is this? Letters inside the body? R-O-E? There are metal plates embedded into the corpse. They appear to be alphabetic letters. R-L-E. That seems to be the case. Mizuki, recall Chikara's right half, found at Sekiba High. Do you remember that his innards were completely removed? Yeah. But this half is different. They are all intact. How is it standing? Rigor mortis and ambient temperature. His body is frozen, and the stone monument reads Sub-Zero. The body is frozen at the contact point. Got it. Mizuki, allow me to say something. If only Chikara had more... guts. Now I'm going Sub-Zero. Oof. Looks like there's something there. We should take a look. Like IRL? A balloon? It seems to be. It's two colors. Half is red and the other half is blue. There's something inside. No need to use x-ray. We can see inside. Mizuki, try popping it. On it! Beats it with a relentless pipe. Two X's? Or perhaps two pairs of intersecting arrows. Hmm. Okay. Eight, yeah. What is this? A mixture of iron powder, activated carbon, and saline solution. The contents of a disposable hand warmer. Something is written here. It is emitting heat. If you use thermo mode, it says AEF. Free vending machine. Non alcoholic beer. What do you think, Mizuki? Yeah, Letters on the body in the monument, and the piece of paper in the balloon. Terror is just playing with us. He does seem to be taunting us. Perhaps challenging us? <laughs> It is certain that the culprit must have planted these clues. Mizuki, you need to solve this. You can do it. Yeah, I'll do my best. Those are the clues we have so far. The letters A-E-F on the monument. The letters R-L-E inside the body. And the piece of paper with the two pairs of intersecting arrows. Do you know what this could mean? Think, Mizuki. search should be related to that.
It's here. Correct. The Alfre vending machine. Terror must have led us to this spot. So, is the message search the all free i suppose so and let's get right to it wait what are you going to do exactly i'm going to buy an all free but you cannot you are only 18. but this is non-alcoholic beer well it is true that it is technically legal for a minor to purchase non-alcoholic beer but you have to understand the social and cultural ramifications so what do you want me to do kick it I know. Let's ask that detective. I see. I can make an exception. Hello, hello, hello! I'm Ushidira from the First Precinct. What's going on here? This is a VR environment. The actual detective is not here. So, what do y'all want with me? Uh, I was gonna ask for a favor, but... Hold it! This footage is weak. Weak? It will be too short. What's too short? My very important film. In any case, it is time to roll cameras. No rehearsals. Here we go. Ready? Action! <laughs> well, actually... I got it. You want me to buy that tingy right there? Yeah, that tingy right there. Easy peasy. Just you wait! What is this accent? Imitating noir films, no doubt. He could imitate a little harder. I guess that worked. Wait, this isn't all free. Open it. The world is a oh. game. And I want to play with you. If you win, I'll give you a nice... I place three balloons in random places around Tokyo. Da 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 da. This world is a game, and I want to play with you. If you win, I'll give you a nice hint. I place three balloons in random places around Tokyo. Balloons are red and blue. Look for them. Terror. A challenge from Terror. Bring it on. I'm up for any challenge. Do you realize how big Tokyo is? How are you going to search for them? Isn't it obvious? No. I'll do it on foot. Huh? On foot? That's not your feet, that's a bike. Oh, it's you. What happened? Uh, forget about me. What's with your voice? It's a long fucking story. What do you want? I wanted to ask you something. Is it okay that I'm here for this? Yeah, it's fine. The more information, the better. Colin is found. How about me. that? Blue and red balloons. What's with your voice? This is a Voch Locho. A what? A voice changing lock joker. It's a necklace thing that can change your voice. If I wear this, I can have the perfect voice. The perfect voice? So you actually want to sound like that? Uh, no! You got it all wrong! Uh, this was a gift! It came preset like this! Who gave it to you? Jinpei! He gave it to me yesterday! He said it was a thank you gift! I have analyzed the voice. The voice he is using now is that of Iris Saga. Right. I knew I recognized it. Moma and Jinpei are hardcore ASET fans. Or perhaps I should say, Tessa fans. So Chimpei gave him that Voch Locho with Iris's voice set as the default? It seems that way. What a creep. I agree. Voch Locho is a product Mama, I... sold on the dance. Uh, 
web. Use the PC to upload someone's voice and analyze their voice profile and put the information and put the voice on your neck. So it's for small electronic signals, do the voice. By the way, I'm good at voices too. Oh, my sweet flower. You shouldn't fall in love with a rogue like me. But, Mona, I can't help myself. <sighs> You're only going down the road of pain and regret. No, that's not true. As long as I have you by my side. Tessa! Mama! <laughs> Tessa! <laughs> the thing about that is, I lost the key. How? Well, I was getting pretty into the booze here at the office last night with this thing on. So you were playing around with it. The more details he gives, the creepier he sounds. I woke up, True. and I couldn't find the fucking key! I thought I had put it somewhere safe or something, but I couldn't remember. So that's why he called on my services as a lockpick to help. I've known Leon for years. I know what he can do. <laughs> thanks. But those are days I would rather forget. <sighs> I never will. Do you have any idea how much money you made me? I'm sure you know this already, but this guy here? That's in the past. I've gone clean. Anyway, Leon, get this thing off me. I got shit to do today. <laughs> Why don't we leave it on for a bit? Let me hear that cute voice a little longer. Burn in hell. I haven't seen any. There are supposed to be three balloons. You haven't heard about any of them being spotted? Sorry, I got nothing. Damn, we know terror is abnormal. I figured since you're abnormal too, maybe you'd have an idea. I'm not abnormal. I'm the most normal. When he raises his voice like that, it is not what I would call convincing. Ugh, stop with that occult crap. I don't like it one bit. I don't get it, and I don't like it. The only thing I can tell you is that I have no idea. Wait, you weren't... I'm here to take the... I was, but I just want to get oh, all the things. Oh, I saw one at Iowan earlier. The orphanage? Yeah. It was tied to a tree. I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. It was just out of the corner of my eye. Thanks, I'll go check it out. But why were you there? I was there to see my beautiful princess. Balloon. I wish I could float like a balloon. Ugh, that's a bizarre situation. I forgot. I don't really like know what happened. River. But I will say this. He got what was coming to him. You know that I was a janitor at Horadori Institute, right? Director Horadori and I talked. I heard a bunch of rumors. Rumors? It would take a while to explain, so I'd rather tell you later. But... Mizuki, I admit I am curious as well. However... Right, we need to focus on the balloons. Okay, bye. Hey, Liam! Please! Can you get this thing off me already? The... <coughs> Joker! What's going on? Moma is losing circulation to his brain. The Choker must be preventing blood flow. Leon, please! Yeah, got it. Ugh, this old geezer. His breath stinks. That's not the concern right now. This is life or death. I can't help it. My sense of smell is better than a giant pouched rat. What the hell kind of animal is that? Couldn't you have just said dog? Mizuki, look for the key. The key? The key that will unlock the choker. I thought I had put it someplace safe or something, but I couldn't remember. Is that a hidden safe? It appears to be. There's an ASAP figure, and... There it is! It's the key! Yes, I am sure it is. But why does he have an ASAP figure? Mizuki, focus! You saved me! Sorry about all the ruckus. Thanks. You should thank Leon. He's the one who opened the safe. Haha! <laughs> The master of unlocking at your service. Now nah, hold on. That don't make sense. Wouldn't picking open the choker be easier than picking the safe? Eh, whatever. 
Mizuki, we need to continue our investigation. Right, we need to find the balloons. Oh, I have an idea. Hey, Moma, can I borrow your vote, Locho? Yeah, sure. You saved my life. I owe you one. Thanks, Moma. Now then, let's go. Hmm. What is it, Mizuki? Nothing. Just... this really takes me back. But now's not the time for reminiscing. We need to find the balloons. <laughs> All right. I don't know where the balloon is. Leave me alone. Ah! Where's the balloon? That's a tree. Mizuki, I don't see a balloon. Mizuki, why are you saying ah? I don't understand. Why she's being like this? Where is it? Oh! Look! Over there! She just says, ah! ah. No doubt about it. That is one of Terra's balloons. Just like Lian said! Jump. But it is high out of reach. It's fine. I got it! For real, she can just jump. Like, we've, we've established this. She's superhuman. Or she can, like... No, she's... I think she's just gonna climb the tree and jump or whatever. Yeah! Yeah, there she goes. It's a little weird, but okay. Unra. Two. Why did you pop it in midair? Why not? Don't sweat the details. Well, in any case, you did reveal what was inside the balloon. Good job, good job. Yeah. My chair won't move. Good job, Mizuki. You popped a balloon. It says two. Well, the back says Unra. And on the back? Unra? No way. Terror is a pervert. What? What? Unra? Clearly, it's a code for undergarments. Terror is a panty thief. I mean, I'm pretty sure he cuts people directly in half, so he's... Well, he has probably seen more than just Either undergarments. Way, this is not Mizuki. enough information. I hate to tell you that, but, you know. We need to find all three balloons. Uh, do we have to, though? Like, why are we... Didn't we find one? Check to see if the children or workers saw anything else. Balloon. We lived. Uh oh Hello. Hi. It's a nurse. What you thinking about, nurse? How you haven't gotten married? Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Because that's what mom and dad named me. What? She appears to be in a theater group or something. Yikes. <clears throat> yeah, it was theater kids. <laughs> Good day. Are you here about Chikara? No, I'm here for a balloon. I saw in the news that a corpse was found. Yeah, but I'm looking for balloons. Oh, I forgot to turn my light on, you know? That's why I was like, I think I forgot something. I did. You didn't see anything. Can't prove it. That makes the whole thing even more baffling. Does it really? What do you mean? We're finally finding the other halves. How's that baffling? I had always thought Jin Furaway's disease had something to do with his murder. Well, you were wrong. He had half-body tumors. Oh? 
It's a rare disease that causes tumors to develop only on one half of the body. Organs, skin, bones. I don't remember which side of the body it was for him, but... I always thought his murder had to do with the disease somehow. Interesting. But Chikara doesn't fit into that at all. He does. I remember. Chikara's right side that was found at Sakiba High had all the innards removed. That wasn't reported by the press. Hmm. But how does it all fit together? Whatever the case, the nurse may have just given us a vital clue. Thanks. Why are you here? One of the children here is cared for at our hospital. But they didn't want to come to the hospital today. Why not? So I came here to attend to them. Why didn't they want to come? Okay. I didn't see anyone. I just got here moments ago. You tied up the I see. liar. If no one saw them, they must have snuck in at night. The security here is pretty bad. It hasn't improved any over the years. But that is how Mr. Chieda wants it. This isn't a prison. We don't need cameras. And that's why you lost a kid. Oh, if only we did. Yeah, for real. That awful incident all those years ago could have been avoided. What incident? The missing child. I'm sure you've heard of a child going missing from Ion. Uru Somazuki, a six-year-old, went missing one day. Mm-hmm. Whether it was kidnapping or an accident, no one has any clue. And he still has not been found. It was a distressing event. If they had cameras, maybe it could have been prevented. Even after that tragedy, Mr. Chieda still refuses to upgrade the security around here. I don't know what he's thinking. It's probably because he lets kids get taken to Chikara's institute and lets them get tested on, huh? There is much to think about. We need to find all the balloons. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. So in order again. We just looking. Stay in the crevice out of my face. No balloons here. Not with that attitude. Mama at Marble may have information. Yeah, good idea. I'll ask her. Yeah, she can give us a reading. <laughs> I want the reading. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Oh, really? Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, right? Yes. Wow, information gets to you fast. I know when to make things quick, and when to take my time. <laughs> What's she thinking about? I've got a riddle for you. If you get it right, drinks on me. What happens when you get rough with a fuzzy navel? It spills, honey. I don't get it. Hmm. Yeah, I have a little nugget of information regarding Horadori. You have dirt on Chikara? The most pungent of dirt always makes its way to my nose. So what information do you have? Chikara was a devoted believer of a new religion called the Order of Percent. Well, I knew that. And their dirt is quite fragrant indeed. Anyway, he really believed in the simulation theory. The one of Prisak is a born son of the Creator. The one is the one creating this world. Who's texting? Really, we're not who's texting. Who's talking? They intentionally amend their memories so they could forge through this world. Which is why we worship the one with the sun. Well, what was that? Part of their new scripture, I suppose. I skipped that by accident. It smells fishy, if you ask me. No fishier than you. What's the sign of percent? That I don't know, but I have a feeling it has to do with the case. You know, the percent sign is two circles separated by a line. Mm -hmm. If you ask me how that's significant, I couldn't tell you, but this order of percent must be involved in all this somehow. The 
there was a bird flying outside and it was causing light to come in and it was bothering me. Those are two circles divided by a line. Hey, have you seen any red and blue balloons? I haven't, but I can ask the milky balls. Do it. Oh, mighty balls. Who is the biggest liar in the world? Those bags that say tear here. True. Oh, absolutely right. What is with that? Who cares about that? That is totally unrelated. Shut up. Sorry, that was my heart screaming out to be heard. I don't need to hear your heart screaming right now. <clears throat> now, let's try this for real. Oh, balls, the great and powerful. Please find something for me. Where are the red and blue balloons? You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. You will find it there. Okay. Ooh, did that work? Mr. He's like, oh, what did you do? How did you do that? Well, I guess we Skill. should head to Ikume Shrine. You actually believed her? Why not? Not necessarily, but it's something. Something, huh? Thanks, Mama. That was a big help. I don't know how any of that information helped you, but if it did, that's great. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. I thought I told you about my great and powerful balls. I feel like this game just amped up the sex references. After I plucked these out, I filled them with silicone. Oh, that's why there are two. She is clearly joking. <clears throat> Was there anything else I could say to her? No. She has to go to the shrine, like she said. I believe. I believe in Mama. Mama would never let me down. You see? No balloons here. Mama may have let me down. But Mama said... You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. I trust her mystical precognition as far as I can throw her. You can't throw her at all, Iba. You are made of rubber. Huh. What's the fruit of immortality anyway? Likely the Tokijiku no Kaku. You know it? Yes. I have heard of it before. It is said that eating it will grant you youth and eternal life. Many believe it is a Tachibana orange. Nice. It is an object of worship at this shrine. I don't really know what a Tachibana orange is. Wow. Nice. The fruit of immortality. I didn't miss my mouse the first time, you can't prove it. No one will know. Okay. Um, I'll go look there. I guess I have to look over there. Balloon. Hey, wait! There it is. There it balloon. is. The balloon. Run, run, Mizuki, run! I don't know why you're running, but run. <laughs> it's not gonna fly away, my you're guy. You're correct. This is a red and blue balloon. See, I told you. Should always trust Mama. How did Mama know? Mama knows all. Doesn't matter to me. It should. Let's try popping it. It doesn't. It looks like there's something in there. Hmm. Let's do it. I don't it. think Mama's evil. What if it was Mama? I don't think it would be Mama. Mama wouldn't... I don't know. You know, I don't know. I thought Mama liked Tate. But you never know. Maybe maybe Tate's not paying his tab. And Mama said, I've had Three? enough. What does it say on the back? Oh, Mama. Indig. Un-ra. Indig. Un Three and Indig. The one at Iowan said too. 
And on the back, it said Unra. Unrag. I have no idea what that means. There's Let's still one more out. balloon left. Okay, let's go to the warehouse district. Hopefully we find a masked woman here. We did not. We found a ma the masked man here, actually. My guy, again, my best friend. I wanted to watch them fight. Them fighting have been so funny. No balloons here. Like, you, he can do damage. You can see he can do damage. But then she punches you, and she punches harder, and you're like, wait a second. What the heck? Like, he's strong, but she's stronger, and it's just funny. No, but there is someone who looks like they might give out balloons. Hey, don't call him a clown. <laughs> it's Kenny. He's not a clown. We love Perhaps him. Perhaps he knows something. And he looks like he's sad. I actually can't tell, but he might be sad. What a coincidence running into you here. I guess he's not sad. Um, well... Do you have any balloons? Wait, isn't he the one that gave me the hint that the first one was at Iowan? That was, that was yesterday, so I don't really remember. But I'm 98% sure he told me. So these balloons might lead to a break in the case. There was one and Iowan. finding them would help with arresting the culprit. Probably. Why are you here? This is my favorite spot. I came to look at the ocean. Looking at the horizon really calms me down. How long have you been here? Since about 8 in the morning. Don't you need to open for lunch today? No, I don't really feel up for it today. I'll open it for dinner only. Shouldn't you take running your restaurant a little more seriously? People are dying, Mizuki. But I'm exactly that. Serious. I don't want to serve food to my customers when I'm not at my best. Cooking is a serious affair. I don't want to be like Ota, cooking some half-assed meals. Okay, can you chill on Ota for like 5 seconds? He's not saying mean things about you, he's just acknowledging you as a competitor. You're just saying mean things. You're kind of annoying me about that a little bit again. Like, I don't really like Ota, but you're just being unnecessarily mean. <laughs> No, I, I don't Unless, know about any balloons. That's the kind of relationship you have with Oda in terms of you guys are, like, okay with that. But, like, from my perspective, you're kind of just mean. Like, I'm gonna say Oda's a kid, but he's not a kid. He's a, he's, he's a grown-ass adult, but... Like, my guy only took over the business because his mom has dementia and his dad is dead like you just you made the business because you wanted to he just wants to carry on a legacy you're not the same can you stop comparing got it sorry i can't be of any help no you don't have to apologize well ringing any bells mizuki look what is this as you can tell, his temperature is rising rapidly. Oh no, I'm making him horny! Why? You don't have the sex appeal for that, Mizuki. I mean, I still view her as like a 12 year old, so like... Ew, but also that's, that sounds like mean to say. Oh, I am not gonna take that from you, Aiba. <clears throat> the point is, Gen is agitated. Though, I cannot determine exactly why. I know you know something. How does her fingers... I mean, like, I think my fingers go that far, but it just feels like hers go further, you know? Am I just weak? Picked up! But, uh... uh fine. Uh, if you say so. What was that? Again. It seemed like he was talking to someone. Who? Unknown. I love whenever Mizuki's like, I don't know what it is. Aiba, do you know? And Aiba's like, There is something this. off about Ken. <laughs> Aiba's just like, I saw the exact same thing as you. Why would you think I know something more? And Mizuki's like, Well, do you? And she's like, yeah, you're like No. <laughs> yeah, he's not his usual self. Do you think he's a different person? Let's not go through that one again. Meaning? Someone else wearing a Gen mask. I don't think anyone else has muscles well, like Gen. not that that is impossible, but... That's his head. It can't be. Gen?
W what is it? Why are you staring at me? Give me your face. Give me your mask. I'm taking off his mask. We're just petting him. I'm a bit confused. Are we gonna see his face? No. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I can tell what you're thinking. You don't think my face is monstrous. Probably not. Do you? No. I felt this way before. That touch. From who? Mommy. I was born Maybe. with a crooked skeleton. My muscles and my skin are different from regular people. I got picked on since I was a kid. I'll beat them up. Like, I'm in. Technically, Mizuki could have beat them up as a kid. Like, she's people 12. People hated me, insulted me, threw rocks, spit on me. That was just life. Normal. Yeah, fuck but those she. Kids. Ooh, who is she? Yeah, it's Mame. Aren't you afraid? Not at all. I want to see his face. Disgusting. No. I think you're charming, if anything. And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. Mm -hmm. That's why I love you, Gen. Oh yeah, are they? That warm heart of yours too. The way you look. I mean, I thought they were, but then Ryuki was like, "Oh yeah, you're like father and daughter," and they're like, "Yeah, sure." All of it. I don't know anymore. A mama. I mean, you can love like your family. So. I told you this is how I was born, right? It's not not true. But I wasn't supposed to look like this. Hmm. This was a result of genome experiments. Yo, gang! In the name of youth and eternal life, at the mm. hands of Chikara Horidori. No. You asked me about him earlier. That's why I hesitated to answer. I couldn't say anything. The terrible memories. I'm sorry I had to tell you all of this. Hey, Omuzuki, tell him that you, you can also are the it, same. Really? Well, see ya. No. Again, we love you. Gen's not evil. Mizuki, should you not pursue him? I think he needs a moment alone. He knows about Chikara. I know, but I gotta get my head straight. Can you give me some time? What about the balloons? Yeah, I'll still look, but there's a lot of thoughts I have to keep in my head now. I feel like we're coming to a conclusion of like... Most of the people that died, like, we don't really feel about them, bad about them dying. I mean, Jin didn't really do anything wrong in terms of screwing them up. I think everyone's okay with Chikara dying. And you know what? I'm okay with that, too. But I guess the rest of them, I don't think I really cared for them to die. Chikara dying... No, I'm not saying, but I'm not saying... <laughs> I definitely didn't cry at his funeral. <laughs> Balloon? Bolis? Which means dead Why person? Why is there a police officer here? Because there's another dead person. We're finding the rest Unknown. of you. Tokiko? But I see a balloon over there. Hey, yo, where's the dead? Where's the dead one? Where's the dead person? That's a red yeah, balloon. You're right. Let's go. That balloon's red. It's just red. This it isn't one of Terror's balloons. I suppose not. This is all red. Yeah, sorry to say, it's not the real deal. Hi. Boss. Mommy. Iba told me about Terror's challenge. Thanks, Iba. <sighs> he thinks he can play with us like this. Why do you? Why did they just like move like that? I wasn't really looking, but I just saw them like s the sea split and return. That's all I saw. I was very confused. Ask for a raise. Can I have a raise? Oh, you're only 18. What do you need more money for? She's also the president of a company. I don't think she needs more money. I've had my eye on a bunch of stuff. Clothes, handbags, grenades, etc. Why does she buy grenades? 
You really think now is the best time to be asking me for a raise? I think it's funny. Talk to me after the case. Here. I got called here because of a particularly troublesome co-worker. Who? Me. Ryuki. Never mind. He was too gung-ho and ended up making a huge mistake. Ryuki found out about the whole balloon thing from Tama. He came to this amusement park to investigate. Some part-timer was working here, dressed up in an Adorabbit costume. He was apparently tying balloons to the fence. Because that's his job. When Ryuki saw that... Stop right there! Did he shoot them? He shouted at him to get his attention, but I guess the guy didn't hear. There was a paper bag at the mascot's feet. Later, we found out it had scissors in it for cutting the strings of the balloons. But when the guy reached down into the bag, Ryuki must have thought it was a weapon. Is the guy dead? He shot him? Yeah. A police officer shooting at a civilian. It's unprecedented. Maybe in your country. <laughs> this is going to be a real scandal. Why haven't you guys just tied him up? I don't think Terror's balloons are here. How are you doing on your end? Find any yet? Well, the places we found them were Yoyagi Park, but I don't think that one really counts. That was just the beginning. So the shrine? Iowan. So what do these places have in common? They mean something to someone. So like Iowan means something to Kizuna as that's like place. I don't know. I'm just guess I'm making guesses. I'm I'm thinking. Ikume means things to Mizu Mizuki yeah, because I found two. Date took her there really? all the time. Really? That's amazing. Great job finding them already in such a short time. <laughs> yes, praise us. Praise us, mother. <laughs> okay, who is your daughter? I need to know. About the shooting. Is the guy okay? Yeah, is he okay? Luckily, the part-timer wasn't hit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the bullet went through his suit, but it didn't hit his body. That's good. What you doing? What you thinking about? I cannot apologize enough. Apologize to the boss. This was boss. my mistake. I wasn't paying enough attention. What? Dismissal, but... He's young and inexperienced, but he's an excellent agent. Can we please reconsider? That's surprising. I didn't expect that coming from boss. She's always trying to defend you guys. Of course, that may not be literally what was said. All that was in a dream, after all. Yeah, but I think she's always done her best to defend her workers. I genuinely think that. I mean, she got pewter back, even though he literally betrayed her and almost got, like, her killed. So, I'd say she's a different kind of person than you think, maybe. He's getting interrogated at HQ. Can you just tie him to a chair? I saw him earlier. The man looked unstable. <sighs> I just hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Tie him up. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know what the dot 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 was about. I, like the... I need to clean up this mess. Then yell at some people, then do my best brown nosing. I've got a long day of diplomacy ahead of me, so Oops. I'm gonna get going. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. I thought that was like a continuation, but it wasn't. She just left me. Okay, I keep making that mistake. Is Ryuki gonna be okay? There is no point in thinking about him now. Can we ride that? Let's go, Mizuki. Yeah. I was a kid. When I was a kid, I never got to ride one of those. I want to ride one. For that, I went to the different places around the city. The last balloon was nowhere to be found. It's probably in your house. The sun is already setting. Oh, it's got an Adora rabbit on there. I saw it on the bike too. What do we do? Calm down, Mizuki. It is dangerous to drive while agitated. Yeah, especially on a moped, like motorcycle. I, I think that's a moped, but I don't really think it's, it's a moped fine. anymore. At this speed, falling wouldn't even hurt me. But the bike could break. Not the it bike. It's provided to you by Abyss. If you damage company property like that, it will come out of your salary. Ugh. I like how she's like, well, you won't die, but the bike will, so stop. And she's like, good girl. Fine. <laughs> Mizuki's like, I never say that again. Mizuki, it's Ooh, the boss. We're calling and driving. Crap. I will connect you. Hi. Hey, Mizuki. I got a call from HQ. Are you also gonna call her a good girl? There was a report of someone spotting a balloon in the warehouse district in Ariake. 
Okay. Can you head there right away? Wait, but I already went I was there, there today. Already. I didn't see any balloons. You must have missed it. No. They said they saw it around 8:30 a.m. 8:30 a.m. Anyway, I'm counting on you. Wait, that means he lied to me about the balloon. If the balloon was there at 8:30 a.m. and it was gone by the time we got there, that must mean someone took it. But who would have done that? Could it be? Ken. It's going to like out Amame for doing something and he's like, "I don't want you to know." Again, where's the balloon? I'll lock you in the freezer. Have we ever never just went? You need into your freezer and then just kick the door. Hey, hey, you can't just barge into the kitchen like that. Just listen, please. Gen, are you hiding something from me? Uh oh, did, did you find out I've been using frog meat? You would, you would hurt. You would hurt Zippy? You would hurt Fwogs? Okay, they're really hard to hold, okay? You- you would hurt Fwogs? You- You hurt Frogs? He's homophobic? <laughs> frogs are the staple of the gays. You can't hurt them. That's cruel. Cut the shit! Better not be using frog I'm searching meat. your place. Stop, hey, come on! My customers are going to be freaked out if they see you rummaging around here. That sucks. You can't be touching things in the kitchen. It's unsanitary. Well, I'm looking for a balloon. I don't think you can hide it in the kitchen very well. And on top of that, boy, I hate to have to ask this, but do you have a warrant? Mizuki. I know. There's a way to search without touching anything. Right. Oh, don't worry. I won't be I won't be searching. Well. The freezer door. Again. I mean, I'm just not gonna talk to him. I'm gonna search. I am searching. I don't think it's an option. I don't think I'm gonna find it unless I talk to him. I don't know what you're talking about. There was a report of someone seeing the balloon at around 8.30 a.m. at the warehouse district. You said you were there around 8 a.m. again. You must have seen it. It doesn't matter. I think I just need to finish my conversation with him because I... What do you mean? I don't want anything. Sorry, I can't do that. I've dedicated my life to cooking, unlike Oda Matsushita. All right, stop with this. Why do you hate him so much? How would you feel if there was an excellent sharp knife just sitting there, rusting away because no one was caring for it? It's like that. What? Where am I supposed to be looking? I thought I was supposed to be using my x-ray mode. But there's nothing I can do. Um, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm confused. I'm sad. Well, I can't fit anywhere small. Oh, there we go. Finally. There it is. A popped balloon. But x-ray will not reveal the color. It could be a coincidence. Hey, what are you- Shut up. Get memed, kid. I'm throwing something away, god. Take something out of the trash. What is this? Why did you lie? Actually, I don't really care why right now. I need you to answer me. There should have been a piece of paper in the balloon. Where is it? Are you really not gonna tell me? Then you're coming with me. Or- I can have the cops bust in here and close you down for the day to search every inch of this place. Which do you prefer? Just tell me. I don't need to sync with you. My guy, just tell me. 